Okay. Well, so on your resume it says you graduated from Harvard University. Impressive. And you uh, got a 4.0 GPA. Really impressive. Really nice. Now tell me, why do you want to uh, work here at my schoolhouse? Well, first off, I am a good principal. I used to basically put kids in, in detention for about 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 99 seconds. So possibly, I hope it's a really good uh, punishment for them. Like if they're breaking any rules. Like, what kind of rules do you like have at your school? The rules I have in my in my schoolhouse is no running, of course, no entering school factory, no eating in the hallways, no drinking in the hallways, no escaping detention, no board wall break-ins, and of course, the most important rule is no stabbing people in the hallways, especially looking at other people's lockers, because I, I've seen that all the time in my school, because I want my school to be more respectful and stuff. Because if they don't res if they don't respect my school rules, then I have to beat him with my ruler. Isn't that kind of child abuse? Not really, because I'm a Christian teacher. I mean, uh, nuns do it all the time at their private school. Well, Christian school. Well, you got the right guy here because I am a great principal. Because I actually put like four students in detention for like uh, doing a school shooting. But yeah, um, I think I can. I think you hired a perfect good guy to uh, for a principal. That's great. Welcome aboard, Principal of the Sings. You are definitely hired. Now get out there and basically put all these awful kids in detention for breaking any rules. I won't let you down, sir. Now tell me, little girl, why do you want to transfer to my schoolhouse? Like, is your other school, like, really, like, uh, abusive or something? Or you think I'm basically the best teacher and the best, uh, in the best school ever? Like, what's, what's your excuse for that, uh, playtime girl? I transfer to this school because, basically, I ask a bunch of my friends to, like, do some jump rope, but they basically got annoyed with it, and then the principal basically decided to kick me out because of how annoying I was at school. Because every time I go up to a student, I basically ask them to play jump rope with them, but they always say no, but I force them to do it. That the principal basically just kicked me out at the school. So this is the reason why I want to transfer here if you think I'm really this annoying. Because I only jump- I only do the jump ropes like only like five times, like I didn't do ten or something. So basically, you annoy and force the other kids at your old school to play jump rope with you. And count to five. You know, that's not that bad. What, what if happens if they say no? They can't say no to me, cause I'll just annoy them and try to for and force them to do it. But if one person basically grabs the scissors and snap my jump rope, it's gonna make me sad. Like really sad. If anyone tries to do that, the principal will basically do it. Will basically get, put them in detention. Which, by the way, um, you're good. Um, welcome to the school. Welcome to my schoolhouse, playtime girl. Yay! Time to annoy the other kids by playing jump rope with me. Yay! Now, this one student basically transfer here in this school. But why do you want to transfer in this school? Uh, this is the bully. Well, I was basically kicked out for out of my old school. Basically, I was bullying. Of course, they tell my name, but uh, I hope your school basically likes me to bully other kids because you know uh, I could take their candy, their drinks, and uh, their money, their lunch money. Which basically, I'm a classic bully. I'm not one of those cyber bullies on the internet that just says kill yourself. And one of those uh, high school students basically just uh, vape all the time. So. You'll think I'm really perfect for this school because I am a good uh, student here in the school. But how can you basically uh, bully someone here? Are you basically gonna pick on them or call them names? I mean, I know the can do mm, taking your candy and uh, taking your drink and uh, taking your lunch money is a pretty bad thing, but uh, how are you gonna basically just uh, bully them? Like, what are you gonna do at my, at my schoolhouse? Well,. I can basically like block them in the hallways and basically um, see if they have any items. But if they don't have any items, no pass, no pass at all. They're gonna basically stay with. They're gonna basically stay and basically get beat by you because I know you like uh, you know, the kids when you're basically uh, 
uh, find every answer wrong because I know who you are because uh, the internet. You know what? Welcome to the school, buddy. I'm glad you transferred here because I really, really need a great bully like you. Now get out there and block some hallways. And if, and if anybody tries to get passed by you, make sure they have some items. If they don't have items, just basically don't move. Thank you, Mr. Baldy. Now, I'm gonna go out there and basically steal some candies for the greatest donation. Probably for, for the Children's Foundation. So, uh... What do you do, um... You... Broom singing. Well, I like to sweep, 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 because you know if I find any mess in the hallways, I'm gonna sweep it up. Hold on, what the heck? How, how are you alive? Like you're an object or a, a prop or something? How does that make any sense? How can a broom be alive? That doesn't make any sense. You know, I really don't know. I mean, I don't basically have an eyes or a mouth, but I do have a voice of Yoda. So, video game logic right there. Okay, then. But, uh, whatever. You're still hired, though. I mean, since you're basically a broom, it basically can, like, talk or probably move or something. But, yeah, you're hired. Um, do you, like, need a janitor to basically, like, uh, help you, like, to sweep or something? Nope. Watch this. Looks like it's sweeping time! Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep! Wow, um, really impressing right there. Wow, I can't believe, uh, Magic Her- uh, Magic Broom, wow, um... You know, I, I have nothing to say, but yeah, you're hired, um... You're- you're hired, so... So maybe if you, like, go into the janitor's closet and, uh, stay there, and if somebody tries to open it, you know what to do, right? Like, you just basically say your lines and stuff and probably, like, sweep down the hallways. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Baldy. Time to sweep, sweep, sweep! It's a fucking horrible joke, I swear to god. I really need to stay off drugs. Um, uh... So, uh... First prize, um, what can you do, um, for my schoolhouse? Like, what can you do at my schoolhouse? To get the player to go really fast, uh, like, away from you, because, you know, it's, like, a real challenge or something. But I can also, like, get them to get towards you, you know, to basically, like, uh, beat you, like, you beating him up with your ruler and stuff. Okay, seriously, am I really just hiring random objects or something? Like, I already hired, like, three human beings, but somehow objects are alive? You know what? I don't even know. This this video doesn't make any sense, and same with the game. So, basically, you're hired first prize. So, go out there and basically just do whatever you want. Thank you, Mr. Baldy. Okay, you got to be joking. This is definitely a sock puppet. It can't be really alive, like, come on, seriously? You really think I'm gonna hire a sock puppet, like, what's his name, Arts and Crap? Okay, seriously, what drugs am I in? Like, what? Am I really hiring random objects that, that are randomly alive? And besides, if this sock puppet was alive, what the heck can you do, um, Arts and Crafts? What do you, like, do, like, uh, do some Arts and Crafts with the kids or something? Like, you're a live sock puppet, like, you're from the Muppets or something? I'm shy, and try to get bored. doesn't like being looked at, and get jealous of people with more notebooks than him. I'm like, really shy, and really, yeah, I'm, I'm really that shy. You know what, you're hired too. Let's just give it at that. I don't know what's going on in this school anymore. It feels like I'm on drugs. Oh, okay, thank you. Well, looks like that's all the people I've been hired. Alright, well, time to start the game. Be prepared, kids, because Baldi's coming. You cannot run, you cannot hide, because I'll keep chasing you no matter what. Get every answer wrong, you know what's gonna happen. Yep, definitely, you know what's gonna happen. Final seven notebooks!